Hello guys! Hello guys, my name is Sunny and welcome to my channel. This is my final week of the mid-season wardrobe pause challenge that I've been doing during the whole month of May. I still have one day to go because tomorrow Monday is 31st of May. In this video, I'm going to tell you how this month has been. If I have reached or not my intentions that I put myself at the beginning of the challenge and also I will show you my last weeks of outfits that I have them here prepared to show you let's start with the monday outfit so on monday i um, had my day off and when i'm not in the office and it's nice outside i try to wear more like skirts and on monday was a pretty pretty good day so i got to wear this skirt without any tights as i told you before one of my mini challenges this week was to wear things that i haven't worn yet during the month and although i don't did like a full outfit with people Pieces that I didn't wear. I tried to include pieces like this skirt here that I haven't worn in a very long time. This skirt is actually, I thrifted it and it's from Max & Co. It's made in Italy. It's a dry cleaner skirt. The material is just so beautiful. It's a blend and it has linen. The color, I just love it. It's like a light denim grayish color that I think it just works perfectly. I've worn it a lot during summer. Now in winter i'm not sure i'm going to be able to wear it maybe with some like very thick ties but on monday was the perfect weather as you can see it has this detail of the belt put it closer so you guys can see it it's very cute i paired it with these fleece turtleneck jumper or shirt yeah it's a shirt thrifted also and then to give it a touch like more my norm core outfit I paired it with this Adidas jacket. You guys, I've had this jacket since I was in my teens. I don't know if I was like 13, 14 when I got it and I still have it. These pieces, you can never get rid of them. They always come back. So this is like my London outfit. So I was wearing it like this and I paired it with my beige Adidas. It's just the easy. I think I've worn these shoes so much this week but go with everything so I don't really have to think about like what shoes to wear. I was wearing also a cap so I was wearing like they say cap. I was wearing my sunnies, which I don't find right now, but you get the deal. And then I was wearing my ex Hilo bag and I was wearing it cross over. And this was my look for Monday of my last week. On Tuesday, I was wearing a super comfy outfit and although I didn't include any piece that I haven't worn in the whole month, I tried to do like a new combination that I haven't done before. So I was wearing these beige pants. I paired it with a white simple basic t-shirt. Then to give it a pop of color, I included this wool cardigan that you have seen me before, but it's so comfy and I wish I could find it in a beige color. That would be great when I finish my challenge. That's one of the things that I have in my list. Okay, so then I was wearing my ballet flats. You can see it here. And I was wearing one of my shawls. This one, I think it look very nice with what I'm wearing. It's in beige and it has like flowers in pink and earthy tones. I did it like around my neck and then I just did a knot here. I was wearing this handbag in a tan color, had this for ages and I was wearing my trench coat, the beige color just to follow like all the uh, tones regarding the piece of pop of color with the cardigan but I got some ketchup on it when I was eating it's in the dry cleaner so I cannot show it to you with a trench coat but you can imagine it it's a pretty like classy outfit with the ballet flats This is my outfit for Wednesday. I try to incorporate a few things that I haven't worn in this month and that's the vest, 
this maroon burgundy vest that I thought it paired very nicely with this beret. I know it's not the same color, but I think it actually works. Let me just try it on. Uh, how was I wearing it? Oh, like this. So this is with the beret. I think it's a very cool and chic outfit. I was pairing it with a white t-shirt underneath. This is my coat too. I'm always wearing a white t-shirt underneath. Then I'm wearing this wool cardigan in a gray color. It's a thinner cardigan than the one I was wearing the day before. But it's also very cozy and keeps me warm. That it's what we want. Then I'm wearing these pants. I actually, when I bought these pants a few years ago, they're from Uniqlo. I went a size up in the pants so they are quite like baggy on me but I really like them they're wide leg pants super comfy and I love them for winter because it's a thicker material it's a cotton but it's a thicker cotton it's just super nice to wear them I love them and I wear them a lot during winter I have them in two colors they're my go-to pants during winter and then I was wearing these boots that I haven't worn yet the whole autumn I've had them for like 10 years or yeah eight to ten years i just love them because they have like these uh, faux four inside so they're so cozy and i think they're still like in fashion not that we follow all the fashions but yeah i think they still work they have like this chunky sole that it's now on trend this was my outfit and i was wearing it with my gray coat i'll put on all the outfits so you guys can see it all the outfit all the pieces sorry so this was with the coat and i was just wearing a black simple bag this was my outfit for wednesday my look for Thursday. I was wearing on top of this a vest. I just want you to appreciate this shirt. I love the color. I thrifted it. It's a vintage country road shirt. Look at all this detail here. I just like it a lot. The weather wasn't good to wear only this, so I was wearing on top of my wool vest. And I'm pairing it with my wrapped wool skirt that I love and I thought this outfit was I don't know was pretty good like for me <laughs> I tried to incorporate just a bit of color with this shirt it's a darker blue of what I normally wear and with the vest what I did because it's too long I just left it a bit folded there and I really love that you could see a bit of the shirt here this was my look I was wearing it with my loafers and black socks and for a jacket i was wearing this leather jacket this was mom's leather jacket and i thrifted it from her wardrobe <laughs> i remember last week i've tried with another different outfit the skirt with this jacket and i didn't really like it but with this outfit i do and i was wearing again my ex nihilo handbag i have to tell you i love this bag because you can wear it in so many different ways so this time what i did was shorten the strap and i was wearing it just like this over the shoulder and it just looks so cute and so such a polished look right i think this is one of my favorite looks from the week i was really feeling it i felt really comfortable in it and i really have to find more skirts this type maybe in black and one in like beige that would be like great because it's super comfortable This was my look for Friday and I wanted to experiment and adventure into the denim on denim outfits. So I'm wearing this skirt, which I have to tell you that I wish it was longer. I thrifted this skirt last year, I think, and it's just like I'm missing a few centimeters of the skirt, to be honest, for it to be like perfect. I'm actually thinking of thrifting some denim pants and just try to add some denim here 
here and also close a bit the split so I'm thinking how to do that for it to be like perfect and never mind I like this outfit I'm pairing it the same as I did yesterday just black socks and loafers works with everything as you can see and then my special pieces of Friday's outfit was this black turtleneck which I have to tell you it was handed down to me by a former work colleague thank you Lola gracias <laughs> I use it so much it's such a good quality and fun fact it was handed down to her by her sister so this is like a third like the third generation to wear it and it's just the best turtleneck jumper I've had it already for like six years or so and it's still no links or anything it's my favorite turtleneck jumper and then another masterpiece of this outfit is my vintage Levi shirt this shirt was from my mom she used to wear it during the 80s and then she put it on storage and one day she gave it to me and I'm just like over the moon excited with this one have to tell you that it's a bit delicate it's not in its perfect condition but I mean like more than 30 years has this shirt and I just cherish it so much I don't wear it as much as I would like to because I don't want to wear it out I actually always wear it with things underneath so I don't need to wash it as often this is the shirt this is my look for Friday denim on denim with a pop-up black and then I was wearing my coat, I will show you how it looks I was just wearing this grey coat with a trench coat I think it would also look nice but I didn't have it and this was the look for Friday I wish the skirt was longer as I told you but I think it works my look for saturday so i'm wearing a very monochrome look i'm carrying this white jeans with a white singlet and this tan cardigan or beige more than tan then i'm wearing my beige sneakers it's a very coastal grandma outfit actually and then to break up it this monochrome color going on i paired this outfit with a navy jacket this is how it looks with my country road vintage jacket and to follow one of Jenna's recommendation about colors to style navy and brown this is not really a brown this is more a tan color but I'm pairing it with this bag that I have for ages and I just love the design look at this it's like a rectangle with a cross here and it has the zip here at the side it's super cool and I'm pairing it like this. This is my look for Saturday. I feel super comfortable in this look. It's a very casual look, but it's also a bit elevated, I think, with the jacket and the handbag. Maybe it's more a transitional look. It's not very winter winter, but this is how the week has been, like cold, a bit warmer and cold again. So yeah, this was just my Saturday outfit. You can see it here. Like, the whole outfit. I think it's a super comfy outfit, but also with an um, elevated touch. This is Sunday's look. I'm still keeping it like pretty comfy, kind of. It's the weekend, so. And I wanted to wear this jumper, but as you know, I'm trying to play a bit more with the layering. So I thought that putting a shirt underneath would give a bit more, you know, that layering. But I have to tell you, I'm not sure about the shirt. It doesn't see here, but you can see it at the bottom and also the sleeves. I thought about the like, rolling them up so you can see a bit here I'm pairing it with these dark jeans and my cream sneakers I think it's also a big coastal grandma outfit but I kind of like it and then as a jacket I thought of putting on this blazer cream jacket which I haven't worn in the whole month and I think this can be a blazer that I can wear also on winter not only on the warmer days I always try to relate like a light color for warmer days and dark colors for winter but it doesn't have to look like that I just love how this looks 
So I have the shirt. If it's a bit too long, I'm not sure, but I kind of like it. With the jumper, the blazer, all like in the same kind of tones, pairing them with the sneakers. And then the pop off like a darker color with the jeans. I think it works. And as a handbag, I thought of giving it a bit more fun. I don't know how will you describe this, but just trying to incorporate a bit of my culture, I will say. This is like very Spanish basket, but I thought it looked super cute with the look, kind of like a Sunday look. Just go out for brunch. This is my look for Sunday. As I told you at the beginning of the challenge, my aim of joining this challenge was to fall in love again with my wardrobe and also lower my spending. I think that sometimes we just make purchases without thinking about like, do I really need this? Is this a gap on my wardrobe that I need to fill? Or am I just like, I need this dopamine thing of like buying something new and wearing it and then tucking it to the end of my wardrobe and don't wear it again. And I really wanted to free my mind from that and just be very conscious about what I already own and also try to spend less. Even if I always go to the op shops or the thrift stores, charity shops, whatever you call them, and the prices are lower than if I would go to a retail firsthand, it's still a lot of money that we'd spend on the op shops. And sometimes I feel myself that I'm buying things because it's a very good price and I don't really actually need that thing. It's not 100% my style. I sometimes buy things without thinking like do I have things to style this with because I find myself like maybe I buy a skirt and then I'm ooh but I need this other thing to pair it with that skirt that I bought and then you just get into that rabbit hole like yeah you always need a new thing and that shouldn't be the case this month has really helped me to fall in love all over again with my wardrobe I discovered combinations that I haven't done before and I'm really grateful for that because I see like maybe you have like 20 things in your wardrobe but there's so many infinite combinations that you can do with the things you already have. So I'm so happy that I started this challenge. I'm going to continue with it, kind of. I still want to go thrifting and show you guys. I really miss going to the thrift stores and filming you guys all the process. I will be doing that. But in the moment of doing the purchases, I will be way more conscious. Also, this month has helped me save money. Of course, I have saved money because I haven't spent money on clothing. I have spent money maybe on other things that I needed. For example, for my kitchen, I needed a blender, things like that. But those are things that I would have buy even if I wasn't doing this challenge. But it's true that there were some days that it was like, oh, I cannot buy clothing, but maybe I could buy some makeup or things like that. You still have that temptation. I try to cope with it. It was actually very funny because we have this group and we were sharing with each other what we felt. For example, there was a person that received a 20% discount voucher in her favorite brand and she was like should I buy something or not like we get so many temptations at the end of the day but I think the best thing is to just unsubscribe from all that so you don't have the temptation in the first place and also try to be more mindful of what I have because maybe I receive like a discount code from my favorite brand and it's just like imagine like a white jumper turtleneck and I'm like oh that's so beautiful but actually I already own one and I don't need two white turtlenecks so what I'm trying to say about all this is that starting a challenge like this really makes you conscious of what you own and also conscious about your spending if you see what we're spending last month in clothing and then with the wardrobe pause and it's like oh my gosh it's too much so one of my main outcomes i'm reading here the notes that i did the first day so one of my main outcomes was to be more conscious about my purchases and yes like i think i've gained that because even during this month i've been seeing things or 
Also, one of the challenges was like to go to a store and just see what is around but without buying anything. Even from now on, what I would like to do is like, okay, I see a thing and maybe I don't buy it straight away, you know? I know that in the thrift stores, you cannot do this as in ordinary retail because in a store, you just go and you can think about it and maybe go back a week later and it will still be there. And with the thrift store, we cannot do this. What I will try to do is when I go to a thrift store, if I see something that I really like, I will just hang on to it. While I'm still thrifting, I will try to think five outfits that I could put together with that item. If I don't manage to do five different outfits with that item, I will just don't buy it. I think that rule will really help me to be more conscious about my purchases and also don't go to the thrift store and get like everything on the cart. I'm not doing that. I also wrote here at the beginning of the challenge that I wanted to start having better finance. So yeah, if, not, if I'm not spending that money on clothing, I will have that money to spend it in other things. For me, right now, quality things are like spending time with my partner and actually doing like plans outside the city, even like having like a wonderful dinner or a wonderful meal. I prefer spending my money in that rather than in clothes. So this are my priorities right now. I don't want to feel bad about things that I purchase because I want to know that those things that I've purchased are really because I'm filling a gap in my wardrobe and also yeah things that I really really like. And I also wrote here that I wanted to feel empowered with the clothes that I own. I have realized during these months with the things that I have been wearing of course 31 days so I cannot wear like everything in my wardrobe but I have to tell you that now I can can identify the things that I'm really comfortable in that when I wear them I really feel empowered and I really feel like comfortable with myself and I've also identified other things which I'm just like mm, that's not me I even wore an outfit that I saw it in the picture and I was like yeah looks cool but I wasn't feeling myself and I think that's something that doing this type of challenge you actually get to notice like okay I'm really feeling myself with natural fibers although I don't have a lot of polyester but I reckon that I try to avoid those kind of materials and I'm also very well not very but a bit minimalist more in my clothing minimalist in terms of color actually maybe it's not minimalist the word but how would I put this into words I gravitate more towards this kind of neutral tones I feel more comfortable in them although I try to incorporate also a bit more color like I have been doing doing this month with my, for example, my cardigans and things like that. But it's not really something that I will wear every day. I think I will get a bit like not feeling myself maybe. I feel more comfortable in these neutral colors and maybe adding a pop of color with maybe a beret or maybe with my handbag. I don't know why, but yeah, I think this is more me. And then what I felt that I haven't feel attracted to are the prints. It's not that I own a lot of things with prints. I have, for example, a plaid jumpsuit that is very cute. I have worn it before. I've had it in my wardrobe for ages before I came to Australia even. And it's pretty cool, but when I wear it, maybe I just wear it like once in all winter. So it's not something that I would be recurring to a lot. I would want to have pieces in my wardrobe that I can wear them every day, combining them with different things and don't get tired of them or don't get bored of them. So for example, this blazer. I can wear it in so many different ways. I can style it many different options and I won't get bored of it. Or this jumper, for example, or the jeans that I'm wearing. I've worn them with heels, with sneakers, with loafers, with a flat boot, and I don't get tired of them. So I think that the more simple that the clothes are and just playing around with layers that I'm learning a lot to play with layers I think that's more my style and I think that's the style that I'm aiming to if I go and buy new things 
And now I want to talk to you about gaps that I have identified in my wardrobe. I don't know if they're really gaps because I cannot complain. I have a lot of things in my wardrobe, but there's some things that maybe because I'm influenced from pictures that I see on Pinterest or Instagram, that's also, I think, one of my disadvantages. <laughs> This is my SWOT analysis on myself. So one of my disadvantages or one of the threats that I think I have, it's that I get super influenced by social media. And sometimes I'm just like, oh, to wear this skirt, I really need a, a flat long boot in black. And I'm just like, you don't really need it. Like you can style it like totally different. Like you can wear sneakers or you can wear like a black loafer or whatever. So I don't know if there are gaps or they're actually because I have been influenced. So one of them is actually the long boots. The ones that I have are extremely high and I cannot wear them for every day. Of course, I only wear them like for go out to dinner and things like that. I would really love to find some flat ones or just with like a bit of a heel, but not that much. And I know that once I could wear them so much. Pants, dresses, skirts, anything. Another thing that I have identified, although it was identified from before because I've said it before, it's a white shirt. You guys, I don't own a white shirt. I own, I don't know how many blue shirts I have, but not a white one. I haven't found like the perfect white shirt. Everything that I find, like in the men's sections, they're always like flat or striped. I never find like a normal plain white shirt and on the women's section they're always like too tight and i would like an oversized one what else have i identified oh yeah i need more cardigans i know i have quite a few but i just use them so much and i love playing layering with them but i want to find the ones that i really like the fiber so it has to be a cotton or a blend with a wool but no polyester and then i've also would like to find a couple of jeans like this one i would like a black one and also a more lighter blue one the lighter jeans that i've got have to tell you that i've mend them already a couple of times and i'm not sure how many more mending can it handle so if i find like this side in a lighter color that will be great what else wasn't i didn't write it down and another thing is that i would love to find a tan jumper maybe not turtleneck maybe more like the pink one that i have i would love the same kind of style oversized but in tan color. I know that one, I will use it so much. In tan and in black, actually. It's just that I know it's all like winter pieces, but we're now in winter. I would love to do this wardrobe pause during warmer months. So maybe um, like in November. November is already, November is spring here. Yeah, like in November. It's so tricky like to turn it around. Yeah, in November, maybe, let's see. <laughs> I would try to do another wardrobe pause just to just to like try to style like I did now with my autumn and winter pieces and to try to style like my spring and summer pieces. Although here in Melbourne, it's always like super mixed up with this crazy weather, but I would love to do that also. Just want to finish by saying that I'm going to miss so much my water post gang if any one of you is watching yeah i miss you already it has been a super fun and also really discovering a challenge which i am really grateful for emma and jenna for putting it together i've learned so much and i've also things that i didn't know that i was doing when other other persons were talking about it i was like yeah i do that too oh yeah i feel that too so it was great sharing this with more people it has been super fun challenging also i'm going to keep putting an effort with how i dress every day and trying to get to know myself with different outfits and i think it's super important to feel confident and just fall in love with your wardrobe your clothes is something that you wear every day they make us feel very different also like when you're wearing an empowering outfit you just feel like you can take over the world it's such a good feeling 
You guys, thank you for following along with me during this month. I hope you have enjoyed. I really did. And I'm super grateful that you have been following. As always, if you have liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. New videos are coming very soon, this next week. And we'll soon be thrifting again with consciousness, of course. You guys have a wonderful day. and. A wonderful start of your week. Thank you. Bye.